everyone, welcome to Nat Chat. My name is Supreet and I'm based out of Austin, Texas. And my specialty is taking pictures of birds and rainforests. And I have worked in several countries like Costa Rica, Brazil, Panama, Ecuador, Colombia, uh, Peru recently, and I keep adding new locations every year. Today we are going to talk about one of the best experiences that I've had in the in the Atlantic rainforests of Brazil with the with an ornate hawk eagle where we found a nest and we also found a six month old chick and we saw a mother come in and feed the baby it was an unbelievable experience we had to wait for a very long time but in this video i'm going to talk to you about how i made that picture and what i did to get those pictures the kind of equipment i used and also a little bit about the conservation of the area because as we all know brazil is under a lot of threat when it comes to conservation uh, so in this video, we'll talk about the ornate hawk eagle, uh, the nest, and how I actually found out about the place and what did I do to prepare for the shot. Well, a few days before the actual trip started, I started talking to my guides in, in the area and people who were aware of where the nest were and what kind of activity happens. Because as you see, the ornate hawk eagles nest at different times, at different times of the year, at different locations. So in the Atlantic forest of Brazil, you would see normally talk eagle nest from July um, to, to December uh, and the chicks usually like to stay in the nest uh, for six months to a year depending on how much time they need to go up and, and fledge. Um, it was the same case here uh, and we found this, this nest with a five to six month old, uh, six month old uh, chick and which needed constant attention but we had to wait for almost one to two days uh, for the adults to come in and feed because they just couldn't come in and that's for that's the reason why it took us so much time to get some decent pictures of this of this bird as the chick grows both parents need to hunt and provide uh, for the for the young one an ornate hawk eagle young uh, flies for the first time around 9 to 12 weeks after hatching and at this point the males and the females they actually switch roles it's the male's role to, to stay at the nest and, and guard the chick while the female goes out and hunts, hunts for, the, for the baby the breeding season of the hornet hawk eagle normally falls between december and september in central america while in south america it is largely between between august to, to january now let's talk about the technical details of the image um, once we found out where the nest was, uh, we had to locate a location. We had to locate a point where we would be eye level because our main people usually like to nest very high up in the trees, which means that either we had to find another tree which was as tall as this one and maybe make a perch or make a machan uh, to get eye level, or to find uh, a, a small hill which are in plenty in the Atlantic parts of Brazil and try to climb up and make us a final spot where we can shoot eye level with the birds and that's what we did and that's what our guides did and they helped us a lot to find a spot like that which is why we got some amazing angles with some very very nice green background uh, and beautiful light in the Atlantic forest to get some of these shots um, it took us a little time but we finally managed to do it um, like I said I always use Canon equipment and at this instance I was shooting 1 by 800 of a second um, at f8 and uh, the ISO was pretty high because the light usually in the, in the rainforests and the cloud forests is, is pretty bad uh, so we usually shoot very high ISO in the range of 2000 to 3000 which is what the case was in this in this instance I was shooting at ISO 2000 and I had a teleconverter on uh, so I was shooting almost at 840 mm and I always use a tripod when I'm shooting in the rainforest. Uh, so I always bring a very sturdy tripod, which was the case even on this, this instance. Uh, now let's talk about the nest and, and the location. So we were in the Atlantic forest of Brazil, like I said, and it was a very, very gloomy morning. It was raining very heavily and the trek was not a very easy one. It was slippery, uh, but it was a lot of fun uh, to carry all your gear on a slippery mountain because you know that at the end of the day you probably will get back with some very nice pictures of this beautiful raptor that has not been photographed by a lot of people and when we reached the location we only saw the chick but it was 
uh, it was pretty wet and it was cold so it was lying very low on the nest and we were not able to see a lot of it so we waited for a long time and then once the rain stopped the mother flew in and it just perched near the nest it didn't go into the nest it just perched there and washed us and it washed the chick uh, and all the other birds in the area and it was a surreal experience um, it was uh, once the rain stopped the light was beautiful you know very cloudy uh, which means that there was no harsh sunlight hitting the female or the chick and it was very nice and diffused light uh, and the Atlantic forest is known for its uh, amazing trees and weather and habitat and it just it all, all came together in this picture uh, of the female that I shot and I just absolutely love this picture um, and once the male female was there the chick responded it immediately came out of the nest and it started looking for food because it was hungry I, and my guide also said that it was it had probably not fed in the last two days which is why uh, it was very very hungry and once the mother came in uh, with the catch it was ready to pounce on it and, and you know, get something to eat. Uh, Brazil is under a lot of attack right now uh, and a lot of conservation issues are going through the country right now. Uh, the loss of habitat, the loss of land to cattle farming and ranching, uh, it's in dire straits. Through videos like this and through the pictures that I make, I try to tell a story to people about how beautiful uh, their ecosystem is and we need to conserve and we need to conserve this because of our future generations and also for the species itself you know um, the ongoing scenario with the COVID-19 is probably a reminder enough for all of us to understand how important it is to, to to save our environment to save the animals and the creatures around us so thank you for watching and I really hope you feel like this Thank <laughs> you.